Hello, it's February 2025. Today, I would like to talk about games and Linux. I'm Strayev, you're watching Skate Code. So this video is not going to be real tight. I'm going to be a little bit more informal. And I'm going to tell you the good, the bad and the ugly about gaming on Linux. So this video is for people who are asking themselves the question and are curious about can I play games on Linux? Yes, you can. This is the short answer. Question is what exactly? Do you want to play the latest and greatest? Sorry, probably you'll be better to stay on Windows or Mac OS or whatever. I actually never used Mac OS, so I have zero idea what can you play there. But coming from a Windows platform many years ago, you are gonna be fine playing the latest and greatest on Windows. What can you play on Linux? So yes, I have some games. By the way, I apologize in advance if you hear additional noise coming from outside. Today is a horrible day to make videos because uh, somebody always makes some horrible noise outdoors and my microphone is picking it up. Even despite all windows are closed. Some car alarms, some guy with some tool, there is a nearby construction site, it's horrible. I hope that nobody will make any noise. Anyway, let's proceed. Very first game that I install on every Linux is FunnyBot. I adore this game. It can be run full screen. I run it on windowed mode. It is arcade. It is extremely cute arcade about a boat fl floating on in the ocean and you can battle sharks and pirate boats. Whoops. There are power-ups. Boom. And so on and so on. So of course this is super simple. I have other simple things like that. Yeah. Basically, I am retro and arcade gamer. This is why probably I'm not the best source of information about games on Linux. But still, I use some modern tools. So first of all, main questions here would be, can I run Windows game or Windows application or Linux? Short answer, yes, you can, but not everything. The other questions are, how about Steam and other platforms such as Steam, the game providers? Yes, you can have some, some of these, if not all here too. So I have Steam, I have itch.io, I have Battle.net, I have GOG Galaxy, you can see it here. Uh, got Galaxy, got Galaxy. I guess I removed it, but I think I haven't. Anyway, let's go one by one. Running Windows applications on Linux. In one of my other videos, I actually showed running Notepad. There are a few tools that we can use here. So the most common is Wine, but there is also Proton and I think one, two other tools. I make use of Wine and Proton. Let's run Notepad. Okay. Now let's go for Steam. One thing I will tell you, Steam is the most in, the most stable gaming platform for Linux. Where it was? Okay, games. Oh, first, very important. Okay, let's let's show you something else. So you're watching 
quake. To be precise, this is the first quake, quake one. I have also quake three, but I'm not going to demonstrate this. I'm going to show you something interesting. So this is Doom 2. However, I can jump, I can crouch, I can look up and down. These are things not possible on the original Doom. And basically what I just showed you are not just the games Quake and Doom. I showed you that I am running the games through custom engines. I mean, these are natively ported engines for Linux. I'm using, I'm running Quake using Quake Spasm. I'm running Quake 3 using IO Quake 3. I am running Doom using GZ Doom, which is an amazing engine, by the way. I am impressed. I recently started to use it. Um, this is the reason these games run really fast on my machine. Now, I own these games legally, so I tried the enhanced versions. Just I don't like the enhanced versions that much. I don't like the original engines that much either. So I'm using these engines to run them. And I don't mind for the games to look a little bit uglier, but I enjoy the way they look, I enjoy the way they work, they run. Now let's go for Steam. I'm using Steam a lot. One thing to say about Steam is Steam is the most stable gaming platform on Linux, at least in my experience. So I don't have lots of games, as you can see. My games are actually a little bit more, but this is what's installed. You can import non-Steam games on Steam, but um, this I'm not perfectly happy with this yet. So whatever is on Steam, Steam takes perfect care of how to install it on your machine, how to update it. It updates automatically for you. And basically it's really good. I am not really a gamer, but I love how Steam works. I love Steam in general. What else do we have? Each.io, second thing that comes to my mind. I love each.io for one reason. This is the heaven for indie games. And I love indie games, especially I love games with pixelated graphics. And Steam is full of this. So for small indie developers, this is the heaven for them to publish their game. And this is the heaven for gamers who love small indie games to find something to play. There are lots of free games. Uh, I could say tons of free games. There are categories which don't really exist on Steam. And this platform is just like Steam. It will install the game for you. It will, basically, it have the Steam functions. Now let's close. So, as I said, yes, I have also got Galaxy, but that's the thing. So not everything runs well on Linux. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> so what I have installed additionally is also this. Actually, let's use the keyboard. Battle.net, Blood Omen Legacy of Kind, the very first one. Heroes of Might and Magic 3 Complete. Well, you know what's this. It's a cult game. Everybody loves it. Jew of the Jungle, now the original engine of Quake 1, Quake Enhanced, Quake 2 Enhanced. The very first StarCraft, by the way, this game is free. 
you can download it from the original website for free and a few other applications just like Ubisoft Connect where is the problem the problem is currently I have some problem with my wine version until recently it was working fine everything was running from this list but currently nothing is running I don't know what's happening I haven't been running these games for a few months and when I just tried yesterday everything started to crash I have no idea what's happening and I will need some time to dig in debug uh, test and see what to do with it basically I don't run the latest and greatest games as I said I am not running much I have just few games that I regularly play and I could say this game is the game that you can see me play the most but I also love Dig Dug and Galaga especially Galaga so yes um, basically that's the problem with Linux there are things which run and run well there are things which don't run or don't run well that's it otherwise it's a capable platform to do lots of things probably some of you would ask I totally forgot we are on Lubuntu Linux 22.04 and 0.5 LTS we are on a Dell Vostro 5502 laptop this is the only operating system on this laptop right now we are running with uh, GeForce MX330 graphical card and this is an Intel platform so that's it I'm sorry to disappoint you but again if you are new to Linux if you're wondering should I install Linux for games if games are the main thing that you're doing the answer is keep your windows for now you can try Linux but keep your windows for now now yeah let's show you what I am running and how it runs I'm using a very 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 old Logitech controller to play this game surprisingly since the moment I pressed record on this video and there was nobody making any noise outdoors I am surprised yeah money all right I will end this video right here as you can see otherwise things are not running slow at least what I am playing so this is why I'm telling you it really depends what games you are running really depends because some things would run fast some things would run slow unfortunately this is the reality and actually uh, let me show you something which used to run a little bit slow because in the very beginning it tries to authenticate with Ubisoft Connect this is Scott Pilgrim versus the world I adore Scott Pilgrim I haven't launched it in months so let's see what is happening it runs updates for some reason um controllers not connected are not supported okay this is actually not true i think it supports my old logitech controller let's see what will happen and i didn't run this game in months just because i am playing mostly um, 
Crash Drive and few other games. Galaga mostly. Galaga and Crash Drive. But I adore Scott Pilgrim. I'm partially Canadian. I have all the books. I watched the movie several times. I watched the Netflix version of the new cartoon. I love Scott Pilgrim. Let's see what will happen. As I said, this runs a little bit slowly on my machine just because it first tries to run Ubisoft Connect and tries to authenticate. Oops. See, this is what I was talking about. It crashed. It crashed and I think Ubisoft Connect is the problem. Let's try to run Ubisoft Connect. Yeah. It runs updates. Maybe I can go for a coffee and come back. Looking for patches. Blah, 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 blah. I remember in the very beginning there was a little problem installing Ubisoft Connect on my computer and I was digging for like 20 minutes maybe half an hour before I fixed it I don't remember what is what was the problem but yes there was a problem okay Ubisoft Connect running running let's see if I can connect actually Great. I don't remember my password for Ubisoft Connect. Well, yes, as you can see, this is the problem. This is the reality. Not everything is running fast. And right now I have problem which exactly in this very moment I will not be able to solve. For this reason, I cannot show you everything and this is the reason that I am telling you if you want to just play games on Linux, keep your Windows, honestly. I would like to tell you, yes, Linux can run everything, but the truth is there are things which run problematically, so better keep your Windows. It will give you less problems for the games. Now, if you want to do something else with Linux, yes, install Linux by any means, I love it. As you can see, I am running only Linux. But if it's only for games, especially the latest and greatest, keep your Windows. So with this, I would like to finish this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Strayev. You are watching Skate Code. Goodbye.